Hello everyone, Supersonic Blue here, and welcome to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online tutorial here on the channel. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to craft the potent herbivore pam on the uh, pamphlet. So basically if we, want, we need to go back over to the recipe pamphlet. So this one, basically you need... Uh, there's two main ingredients and then a selection, either one or four selection mushrooms. So, what you need for this is you need violet snowdrops, uh, vanilla flowers, and then a choice of the four mushrooms, parasol, sh uh, chanterelle, ram's head, or bay, but let mushrooms. Now, the ones you're going to probably find the easiest are going to be either parasol or chanterelle. Um... And then you got Ram's Red or Bay or Bet for that. Is there one here? Oh, it's just that. Right, so. Where are you going to find your mushrooms? You're going to find your parasol mushrooms in the heartlands. And you're going to find your chanterelles. Like, I think it's like around here somewhere. There's a selection of chanterelle mushrooms. Um. And there's some like all the way down south at Bolga Glade. Um, you're also going to find your ram's head mushroom is going to be up here. And then your Bay of Belet are usually around Big Valley region. Just, they're probably elsewhere as well. In fact, I think there might be some near me. Like underneath this cliff, I think there might be some below me. So we're going to have a look at that in a sec. Um, vanilla flowers are from Lemoyne. And your violet snowdrops are in like Amberino and the Cumberland Forest. So you've got to kind of travel a bit for this uh, section. Uh, violet snowdrops, I think they're all, pr I think they're all linked to the north. Um, I'm pretty certain. I think the sun just on that segment. So basically, we're going to be doing a lot of fast travelling in this video to show you where you need to get everything so basically what we're going to do first is we're going to go and get the bay of Belet uh mushrooms or some form of mushrooms because i think like i said uh there's some just below horseshoe overlook here um pretty certain there is um so we'll get a selection of them if i can't find the bay of Belets around here then I'll go and get the chanterelles near Emerald Ranch. Because the Ram's Head ones are a little bit harder to find. They're not, well, they're not hard to find. Well, I know, like, the location of where to go find them is then finding them. I think there might be some near Fort Wallace. Seems to ring a bell. But I think... Some round here. I could be wrong, but... Might as well look. Remember to always flick uh, your sticks, L3 and R3, so you can highlight anything, any herbs or animals and things in the area. Um, but yeah, like mushrooms, they'll all be on the on the floor. You'll find a lot of yarrow around there and a lot of um like Indian tobacco and things like that. Wild wild uh, carrots and things. Okay, I might have been wrong then. Not there was some around there. I was certain there was. Oh dear. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our camp and we're first going to go and get the vanilla flowers. So if you ever did any of the um, herbalist challenges in um, the story mode, or the survivalist challenges, one of the two, uh, you have to collect or the 100% you had to collect exotics for um, oh I can't remember his name one of them when it wasn't to collect violet snowdrops must be fast travel was the 
Come on, turn around. Turn. Um, but basically, they're quite easy to find. Particularly now at the moment, they're quite easy to find. You'll, you'll find them pretty quick. Um, because they're the only plants at the moment that grow on trees. Because none of the orchids at the moment grow on trees. Because I'm assuming it'll be for the... Um, thingy update. Right, so straight away, there's one there. Now you got to be careful in the swamps. Oh, look, a eh? camp. So these are your vanilla flowers that you'll need to collect. I would normally go for that camp, but I'm not going to while we're doing this video. Uh, because this is a tutorial video, not a... Oh, for God's sake, turn round! Um, yep, there's another one there. Yep, there, there it is. Yeah, so basically vanilla flowers, they grow on trees, and they're yellow. Uh, so what I might do... Uh, I'm trying to decide how many to pick. Another uh, one over here. This is... Uh, there's a couple of recipes that you will end up doing where you'll need to venture into the swamps for. Um, sure, we'll get to that in due time. This is the first venture into the swamps. So there is definitely another time where you'll need to go. Another, maybe two. Yeah, no, another two times you'll have to venture into swamps. Um, from the last video, which was uh, one of the predator baits. That the that's huckleberry. Oh, there we go, vanilla flower. I just I'll just wander over it so you can see that what it is. So that's the evergreen huckleberry there. I'm gonna pick up four because I have a feeling you may need maybe. I've not crafted this myself since like story mode, so I don't know. You're gonna either need two or three when crafting stuff like this. But right there, we've got four. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fast travel to uh, Emerald Ranch. Um, I don't think there's any more in the area. There's a lot more than that, but uh, from Le Grau we found four pretty much straight away. But also, it's basically the, it's it's anywhere in this region, anywhere like all over Bayou Noir. You're gonna find them everywhere. That that's a good place to find them. And if you want like egrets and stuff, go in the early hours of the morning, and you'll find snowy egrets, little egrets, reddish egrets, spoonbills. Then they're all worth like the plumes are worth at least one forty-four, depending on the um, state. So if you've got a poor plume. I think it's worth 144, a good plume's worth um, like 150, something like that. And perfect plume, I don't know because I've never actually um, got a perfect plume because I always use the Evans repeater for everything. Uh, so, we're now going to get the mushrooms. That was probably a snake, that little red dot there. And I know I've, we've, I've, no, we've, we've been to this area before to get stuff. So there's some sort of sage here. So you know, and right, so. These yellow things on the floor, these are chanterelle mushrooms. So again, I kind of want to get more than two. There's another area where I can get them. In this field, yeah, that's it for here. Uh, you got your, um, yeah, right. 
It's the other area you want to go to. It's not much further. It's another set of trees, I think. It's the, this set here. Yeah, you can just see them on the floor, though. So there, there we go. So we got we got four more chance for mushrooms here. So I'm just you might as well just collect them all as you go. It'll help towards your um, thing you challenge your um, oh god your survivalist challenge. There we go. Survival towards uh, is what it's going to help you towards for doing here. So I've got the four, and also if you don't venture into the into here, which is pretty difficult because it's Hard to miss, if I'm honest. There should be some parasol mushrooms around here. Um. I saw a little... See, every, anywhere where it's sort of like... Yeah, the, the... There you go, there's your parasol mushrooms right there. If I find if I find any of the other mushrooms, um, I'll show you what they look like. But if I'm honest, fuck no. Okay, but if I'm honest, um, we might find the round dead ones, but the bear bear lights we probably won't find. And then what is that? The I've just got. Sorry, I've just got to just look. I think this might be an owl. It is an owl. Like I said, if you ever see any big animals like this and you're crafting, go and get them. Go and find them. Hunt them down. Owls, they're the majestic. They only come out at night and they're majestic as anything. You, they fly. The big wings and they just fly. Um. You know, out like normal. So, when it comes to using these sort of feathers for future videos, um, I will um, put in a location of where to go. Uh, so, I think where we're going to need to head next is here. Now, I will bear in mind. If what appears here, what I think is going to appear, I might do it. Which is a uh, gang attack. Gang attack. Ambush camp. So, I just bear witness, just in case that does happen, we might we might do it. But fast travel to Valentine. So, yeah. So, for this one, you, you're pretty much going... Uh, Everywhere for this uh, this pamphlet. So hopefully, like I was saying in previous videos, that they will actually, when these trapper and uh, businesses come in and the bounty hunter businesses and the uh, and the exotics, that we will be able to, um, like you can do in the story mode, make uh, satchels and upgrade your satchels so we can carry more. Probably do it like what they normally do. You can either purchase the satchel or make the satchel. Or at least that's what I hope they would do anyway. Because um, at the moment, you just cannot carry it much at all. It's ridiculous. So, we're looking for violet snowdrops. And basically, I'm just going to get rid of this marker. That's why I've gone this way. You're looking for purple flowers. If you ever know what snowdrops actually look like, they look exactly the same in real life. They're just purple. So, I think there's some just on the left here. Yep. There they are. So these are violet snowdrops. 
This is probably the, the southernmost part where you're going to find them. Your violet snowdrops. I thought that was my horse. It's probably another one. So that's three right there. So if I, I'm what I'm going to do, you'll always find two or three in a bundle. Sometimes you'll find four. But basically, if you head to where the sandwich camp normally is, it's right next to it in Cumberland for, for, for Cumberland Forest. What sort of where this bean-shaped road is? It's on the left of the road, just north of Valentine. Uh, yeah, this is probably where you got the most um, south that you're going to find them. Uh, is there any more? I don't know, that's why I'm looking. Also, ginseng, I picked that up. This is another one you want to pick up as soon as you see it, see it ginseng. Because it's quite a rarity, you see, so... And you only, only ever find one. There we go, there's some more violet snowdrops here. So, yeah, you just want to head... To this area where there's an ambush camp normally, and it's right next to it. There we go, we found half a dozen there. You can only carry ten anyway, we found half a dozen. Yeah, that's what... That's basically what you want to do. Uh Right. Ah, here we go. Wintergreen berries. So you can find wintergreen berries here as well. These can be quite difficult to find um, as well. So this is your other type of berry. It's not like it's not like the other three types where it's a bush. Um. But yeah, that it that this is that's just what it looks like. We call snow rock over. Uh, right, we'll head back into Valentine. We'll just fast travel to the camp. I don't know. Actually, no, we don't want to fast travel to the camp. Cause it's not even that much further. What am I doing? Okay. So we're just going to head back. Won't take me very long, but yeah, like I said with the satchels, they, 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 need, they need to, I assume they will do, but uh, they need to need it so we can carry a lot more stuff, so like if we're hunting stuff or collecting stuff like herbs, we can carry a lot more, we can produce a lot more, and also I'm uh, uh, I hope there's a way to sell stuff like tonics and things, whether it's for your horse or for yourself, because I've got so much tonic at the moment, I barely use it, if I'm honest. There's just so much of it. Um, but I assume that'll probably happen with the... Uh, maybe not with the trapper bit. Maybe not the trapper business, maybe, I don't know. That up there. Another owl. So there we go. In this video, people always complain and say that they can't find stuff like owls and things. In this video, within five minutes of each other, I found two in different areas. Um, two. In Two in different areas of, um, you know, you ran over. So, like, so when it comes to that video, if it's not night time when it happens, then when I do the video, then um, I'll just explain the where you need to go, essentially. And if you saw that, it was like 4 a.m. when. Uh, we got that one, so you can get them in the very uh, get. We probably got that first one about midnight, and then we got this one um, like really early hours of the morning. So now we're gonna go to make the potent heavy bar bait. It's 
shall be on there. So, okay, you only need one of each, which is helpful. So the only thing that changes is the boss rooms. But there you go. So obviously you've, you can you can make it with Bayo Bella, Chanterelle, Parasol Mushroom, or Ram's Head. And as you can see, we found two pretty common ones: the Chanterelle and and Parasol. So we're going to make it with the Parasol first. So you don't actually have to... The only ones you've got to sort of travel for are the Violet Snow Drops and the, um, the Vanilla Flowers. But other than that, it was fine. And there we go. And there you go. That is what you need to do to uh, craft the potent herbivore bait. So, that is where we're going to leave for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also hit that bell icon for future video updates like this. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.